Thanks, guys. Here with Grandmaster Larry Christensen, who just won his game against GM Alex Rabalov. Uh, Larry, congrats. Welcome back. Thank you. Uh, your thoughts on today's game? Well, it's uh, you know another example. King in the center. Um, poor poor Shaba got his king stuck. I think he underestimated um, e5 for well, overestimated his chances. After e, my, I played e5, he probably should have held the status quo in the center. After queen c5, I'm pretty happy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right here. Yep, and then castling. I mean, there were. I also had a potential knight g4. I was kicking that around, but it looked like castles long was the right way to go. Yeah, I mean, look, uh, if he can't take the knight, then. Right. The main point is when he plays knight g5, I have rook d e8. Mm -hmm. And that's. He takes on f7, then I just have everybody lined up. It's a death, death row. Yeah. Rooks, just, you know, knight. I have a. Cheap shots everywhere. Knight g4, knight h5, mm -hmm. h6, they're probably all good. Yeah, all kinds of moves. Yep. Um, yeah, very, very nice. Plus some rook e5 shots. Okay, so then he went king d2. Mm -hmm. He might have considered uh, put the uh, uh, queen f2. Yeah, back. Yeah. Queen f2, I was, I'm sure rook e5 is better for black, maybe even the, queen a3. I don't, yes, or might play a move like queen a3. Mm -hmm. But I was looking at rook e5, f e. Uh, queen e5, bishop e2, mm -hmm. queen takes g5, castles short, uh, and then I think bishop b7, and bishop f3, knight e4, I was trying to assess that, bishop takes, bishop takes, and that has to be better for black, with f5, um, f5 then, yeah. cement, pouring the cement, and, you know, I can't lose it, I mean, maybe I could, but, <laughs> no, it looks a competent, that's great. Uh, so anyway, yeah, he played uh, King D two. Mm -hmm. um, now I, I figured if I if I have to keep my head straight, I should win this game. So I I just played what D D five was tempting also. Right. Um, but it seems to give him some squares. I might win a pawn with that. But um, D six looks pretty incisive, I think. Yeah. Okay, bishop, and then getting my king, you know, preparing for the final uh, situation. And then I didn't want to, I, I know queen a3 is also good. Mm -hmm. The point being rook a, uh, rook a1, queen e7, I'm consolidating. But I hate, I don't want to give, uh, maybe I'm, I'm over, Shaba is a very dangerous player. With, I don't think he can pull any tricks on the a file, but mm -hmm. you never know. I'm, uh, I didn't want to give him anything. Right. So queen c6, I knew that was... Had to be pretty reasonable. Mm -hmm. Knight c5. Oh, what did I put? Yeah, knight c5. And then yeah, th these are captain obvious Just moves. And then I, yeah, then I got intrigued by. Let's try to mate him. <laughs> okay, so a million mating nets here, poor guy. It's like a. I knew, and, and that's forced d6. There's nothing else to mm -hmm. even think about. I have an a5. I have a potential queen sex. I was uh, on c4. Mm -hmm. There was some potential, you know, with a pawn on a5, and you know, he does, moves his queen somewhere. I slam down queen c4 and bishop a6 mate. Yeah, you know, but they don't have brilliancy prizes here like Lone Pine, old days. Yes, sir. Remember those days, $300, $200. <laughs> Oh, anyway, I play, I play g5. I know it wins a piece. Now, queen takes e6, also good, I'm sure. Queen b, you know, they're, mm, I, I can't imagine what stockfish would go nuts here. <laughs> uh, well, Larry, congrats on uh, just absolutely fantastic game. Um, two and a half out of four. How are you feeling about chances for a rest of the I think tournament? I'm still a um, good shot of the top ten. I think so, too. Yeah. <laughs> as well. and thanks, Larry, for all coming right. in. We'll thank you. We'll back to you guys. Oh, the pleasure is all yours. I mean, thank, yeah, it's all yours. <laughs> Mine. Yeah. Thank you. I don't know who he threw <laughs> under the bus worse, me or Kostya in that one. Thank you, Larry.